All right, episode 24. It's called Unlimited Blade Works. It's over. This is the episode. He's going to say the thing, isn't he? Dang. Jeez, he's really hitting us where it hurts, man. Wow, and I think it's interesting that even though he knows the truth, he has no idea that Kiritsugu was the one that caused it. I wonder how that make him feel. But that doesn't mean he's going to stop trying for it. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We know where this place is. Are we getting to it already? Oh, the last two. Mm. There we go. There we go. It's time. There we go. Now he's back up. Oh, uh, if he if he traces it, that'd be no. He couldn't trace it because he couldn't scan it. Oh, there it is. Oh wait, never mind, never mind. I thought that was the ability. Holy crap! Because I don't remember. I know she used a special ability while she was fighting Caster in Phase Zero, but I don't remember what that ability was. I think it was the final blow, wasn't it? The one that finished him? There we go. Smart. Take care of Rin. Yeah, I was about to say. She doesn't feel that way at all. There we go, dude. Imagine a random kid like Shiro having this kind of bond with freaking King Arthur, dude. I guess Queen Artoria? King Artoria? Give form to what's in my mind. Oh my god, he said the thing! He's saying the words! Holy crap! It's too late now. And he summoned! Oh my god, this is so broken. This is so freaking insane. Did he ever even see this move? But wait, how was he able to summon that shield? Was that the, the Ro Ayas shield that, um, that Archer made? He wasn't there for that, though. How was he able to replicate it? This. Oh my god! It's over! It's over! Yep, true. Oh my god, dude. Shiro is him. Yep, I hope you got enough weapons in that storage because we got weapons for days.
And it's interesting because it's called Unlimited Blade Works because all of the weapons that Shiro, or, yeah, I guess, that Shiro's ever seen exist within that realm. But does that also mean that whenever um, Gilgamesh summons new weapons, they're just added to Shiro's arsenal? Dude, this is getting crazy, bro. Shiro is him. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Wow, she did this beforehand. Come on, think of something. Rin, you can't let this be the end. Jesus. Oh my god, what the heck is that? This thing is a monstrosity, bro. You thought the freaking lava and hellfire was a problem. Imagine this thing running loose. Yep, look, now it's just a part of our arsenal. You can't stop us. And look at him just effortlessly. Like, he wasn't even looking at him, bro. He knew that his swords would get the job done. But we carry the strongest one. Oh, good point. A one-trick pony just like me talk to him. I don't think he heard you. Counterfeiting cranium? Dude, Ren is a dog, man. Yeah, this place has to be like just a maze of meat. A meat maze. It's like infecting her. Oh my gosh, she can't even control it. Dude, not like this, Ren, not like this. Man, screw Shinji. But, of uh, Archer? How though? Who is this? Maybe I'm crazy, but it doesn't sound like Archer. Maybe it is though. Because it was like a rain of arrows that saved her. And then Saber can take him out. Dang. There we go. So not only do we have Saber using her ultimate technique, but she's also been like juiced up by Rin. So we have an amped Saber. There it is. That's the final technique. That's the now it looks familiar. That's the final technique that took care of Caster. Look at that, it's just burning everything! That's- okay, that's nuts. That's nuts. Oh my good god. I think this is more than enough evidence to show why Saber is one of the strongest servants. Because I feel like if she hit anyone with that, they would just disintegrate. Even Gilgamesh. And yep, she said there's only one use. We'll see you again. I wonder if the servants, like, actually get to interact with each other in that other dimension. Because, well, I mean, Shiro did make that, like, pact or agreement to become a, a heroic spirit. But I think now he might naturally become one. 
so it'd be cool if he could see her in that other dimension. Dang. Mm hmm. Yep. He's saying if you picked one and stuck to it, you'd be able to beat him. But he's basically showing that Gilgamesh is just a jack of all trades. He can do a lot of different things, but he doesn't specialize in any one specific thing. So, Shiro making cheap imitations is just enough. Look at he's flying! Dude, Shiro is flying through the battlefield right now. Just picking up a sword, swinging it. If it breaks, we got like 20 million more. When they said that he was like the perfect opponent, he meant it. Oh. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm dumb. He doesn't need to look at Ro Iris, Ro Iris to copy it, because it's his magic. Oh my god! Bro, I've never seen Gilgamesh get embarrassed like this before. Did he hit him? Oh my god, this is crazy! Gilgamesh is supposed to be one of the strongest heroic spirits. If Shiro beats him, if a human beats him, Not like this. What? What the heck? What? A hole left by the Holy Grail. Oh no, he's trying to drag him with him! Or no, 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 he's trying to pull himself out. Yeah, he's trying to pull himself out. Oh my god, no way! Okay, how the heck? What is... Oh my god! Oh, dude, what the heck? How the heck did Archer get here? So we know that that was him, which, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious now, but how? How did he come back? We literally saw him disintegrate. What? I need to know how. こんな時だってのに笑うことないじゃない。いや、失礼。君の姿があんまりにも荒れなものでね。お互い<笑> Look after me. Wow. This is so cool. But it really leaves me... It leaves me what, wondering what happened to his ring in his timeline. And now he looks just like Shiro. With his hair down like that. There we go. There we go. Shiro out here making waves. He saved a corrupted version of himself from the future. He's still here. You can tear him a new one now. This is awesome. Oh my god. This is like the craziest like 
power couple I've ever seen, bro. Both of them are insanely cool characters. We're getting a bit of a recap here. Or no, this isn't a recap. This was him fighting Archer. Mm -hmm. Probably the most important fight of his life. Even more important than the Gilgamesh one. Is he older now? Whoa! Look at all these weapons he's made! Now it looks like he actually has a passion for... ...discovering and creating weapons. Dude, I, I can't tell. Okay, so he's living in Rin's mansion. That's cool. But I can't tell if this is like a couple years in the future or if this is current. He looks a little taller. Oh, yep, they're older for sure. This is older Rin. Wow. Where are they heading off to? These two lovebirds going on a date? Oh, are they going to college now? Oh, they are. Holy crap, this is cool. Oh, was that a love letter? Dang, man. I like the look, Rin. I like the look with the hair down. A noted mage's rightful heir. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So he's there for her protection. I was about to say, Kiritsugu was a notable mage? I mean, we know that he's a crazy good mage, but I didn't think he was, like, known throughout the city for it. Yeah, so no funny business, Shiro. You did that. Tell him again. You did that. Don't... Who was that? I was about to say, please tell me it's not Shinji again. Shero. <laughs> Lubia. Are we gonna be seeing more of her in Unlimited Blade or in, um in Heaven's Field? She doesn't even know his name. <laughs> Is this just her like accent because she's not Japanese? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Get your hands off of her, man. Dang, they're really brawling it out. Hold on. Oh, now they can unleash their anger. Oh my god, this is so sick. The Edelfelt. Okay, okay. She's got some credentials. Rin. Dang. They're both using similar magics, though. That, like, enhancing your physical capabilities. Oh my god! No, no, you can't do that to her. They're gonna destroy the whole building, man. <laughs> oh, man. Not the medulla avangata. Dude, how can you not love her in? Hmm. She's jealous. I love... Dude, I shipped him so hard, man. Oh. So that's what that letter was. Is he gonna do it? 
So they're in the UK right now. They weren't in Rin's mansion. Well, I know they're in another country. I don't know if they're in the UK necessarily. But I believe the clock tower was also in um, Fate Strange Fake. The blade. <laughs> And where might that be? The countryside? They're going on a date in the countryside? Oh my god, this music! A certain king's grave. What? Oh! Artoria! Yeah, same! I forgot that she was a king too! <laughs> I was over here like, Gilgamesh? <laughs> But that makes sense, because they're in England. And Ar King Arthur was literally the king of England. Yeah, I don't think that's insignificant. Wow. Yeah, now that it's over. It's like, dang, well, now what? <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of flashbacks to Arthur. Dang, I like this outlook. This is very deep. Very profound, Arin. Oh, thinking back on the school days. Now, is this before or after the incident? Closing assembly for our second year, so I think this is the same year. Where's Sakura? Yeah, yeah, this is after. Okay. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of rebuilding to do. Yeah. Yeah, look at how nice of a sister she is. Hopefully you can start to treat her better after this. Even though he doesn't deserve it. I can't believe Shinji made it through all of this. Oh my god. Someone like him deserves to be freaking buried under a prison for the stuff he tried to get away with. Oh, Rin? そんな時に校舎の見回り<笑> Oh man, they're getting extra close <laughs> with this foul vixen. Dang. Oh no, you got bigger problems to deal with. Yeah, what's up with the archery club? Yeah, that's what they always say. I'm glad we were able to see her again. Ah, uh, and there's the, the Rin Defense Force. <laughs> They're really showing everybody in this epilogue here. 
Oh, let's see. Oh, so this is where she asks him to come with her. This is where he accepts. Dang, man. Can't say no to that face. Exactly. You have to. Yep, yep. He says you already know the answer. Yep, the training's gonna be intense. You thought training with Sabre was tough. Just wait till you train with Rin. What is this, two years later? Oh man, is that the boy? Is that my boy? Waver? <laughs> he was the most important person in that entire Holy Grail War. He ended that war. その Whoa, but it is not humorous. A small world, labor. <laughs> what a legend, man. Oh, he turned him down. She probably knew it was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, she knows you well enough by now. And what will you do instead? Wait, I thought you were on our side. <laughs> but you'll have a different outcome. There you go. That's such a beautiful way to word it. You guys are going down the same path, but the difference will be how far you can take it. You might reach it. That's the... Oh my god. That's probably the most beautiful thing I've heard in this entire series. Oh, I love how I love how down they are for each other, man. Yeah. Yeah, they still got three years. Our own happily ever after, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna tear up over here. I believe they'll get there happily ever after. Oh, it is over. Wow. Oh my gosh, what an amazing way to wrap everything up. That's beautiful. How she wants to go all the way to London, all the way from Japan to London. He's like, you already know the answer. I'm going with you. And now. He says in three years, he's going to want to, you know, go out and do his own thing. And she's like, hey, you already know the answer. I'm coming with you. That's so cool, man. Like I said, I love how down they are for each other.
I'm excited. I'm excited to get into the Heaven's Feels movies, man. I think there's three of them, right? Do you guys know how long each one is? Just for curiosity's sake. I'm still going to watch all of them. But are they going to be like, you know, three hour, like actual feature length films? Oh? Oh. He's still alive. Wait, is this our Shiro? That's what I was not wrong. Dang, was that our Shiro? Yep, this is him. Holy! So cool, man. Alright, so that was the end of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, and holy crap, what a journey it has been, man. I still remember way back when we watched episode 0, the hour length episode 0. And now look at us, 24 episodes later, we finally completed it. I just want to give a real quick massive thank you to every single person that's watching this episode. Whether you've started all the way back in the beginning of the series and you've been watching ever since, or if you've joined somewhere in the middle. I appreciate the heck out of every single one of you guys. Thank you all so much for traveling through this journey of fate with me. And also, massive shout out if any of you guys have checked out my Fate Zero reactions and you've been here since then, because that was some years ago. So, that's awesome. But, we're going to keep this train rolling. We're going to dive into, well, not today. Not today, we're not going to keep it rolling. But, I do plan to continue watching, um... The Heavens Feels movies after this. And then who knows where our journey will take us from there. You know, we might dive into some fake Grand Order. I don't know what the order is after that. All I know is the recommended order is Unlimited Blade Works, then Zero, then the movies. Or I think it's um, Unlimited Blade Works, the movies, and then Zero. But we've... Once we finish um, the movies then we will have knocked out all three of them. So I don't really know where things go from there. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again for sticking around, watching through this far into the episode. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.